Hello and welcome to another video on essential formulas for electrical level 3. This video is going to be about inductance. So I'm going to get my different colour pens and we'll start with the title of inductance. Now there's a few things to write here. We've got the formula and a few other bits of information that you will need for your notes. First of all, we'll start with the formula, and that is XL, large capital X, a small L, XL equals 2 pi F L, lowercase f, capital L. And then we can transpose that to give us L equals capital L equals um, XL over 2 pi F. Now let's write down what those, uh, what those values or those symbols mean. So we have um, XL equals, uh, and we do F equals and capital L equals. Now obviously I won't do two, that's just the basic number two, and pi is the number pi from your calculator. So, let's write down what uh, XL means. So XL is called inductive reactants. Inductive reactants. Lowercase f is frequency. And a capital L is inductance. And let's write down. So our SR units for these terms. So XL, inductive reactants, is measured in ohms. And uh, frequency is Hertz, capital H, lowercase z. And inductance is a capital H. Um, maybe we'll just write that down. That is Henry's. There we go. There are the uh, two formulas that you need for inductive reactants. But there's a few other bits of information that you really should write down to help you with your notes. So our first bit, let's just draw. Um, let's give a bit of space. So we'll just draw a simple sine wave. So, maybe in your notes, do it a bit neater than me, use a ruler. Uh, right, so we've got, um, let's do a bit of a sine wave there. And then we can take another coloured pen, and my sine wave starts uh, here. So, so they're not quite they are out and then if we just take um, this and put 90 degrees and then let's just label this up. So this is the red one is volts, and my blue one is current. Because what reactance does, or what in inductive, what happens in an inductive load, is my current and voltage are out of phase. So in an inductive load, we say current because we always talk about current first, 
Cohen is lagging voltage by 90 degrees. <laughs> um, if we put here, um, let's label that purely inductive circuit. Because it would only be in a purely inductive circuit that my current lags my voltage by 90 degrees. Um, the phaser diagram that we would draw would look like this. So we always have current is horizontal. So this is um, current. This is volts. That shows my 90 degree. And the direction of rotation is always anti-clockwise. This is a phasor diagram. And just so that you know our um, circuit symbol. So let's write circuit symbol. Lots of M's. <clears throat> That's the circuit symbol for an inductor. And there you go. That is your notes page for inductance. Thank you for watching the video. Remember, we've got plenty of other videos on all of the other tests that you can do, and there are also many videos on cable calculations and all sorts of things that you're going to need to know to complete level 2 and level 3 in electrical installation. Now if you want my tabs that I have on my BSM671, visit the website electricalstudent.co.uk where you can purchase those. Also on the website, loads of free stuff, loads of practice tests, mock exam questions and such like. Working with electrical installation guys, remember, be safe, most importantly, Listen to your lecturers, he or she definitely knows best. Take care guys, see you soon.